Hello, I'm David Runyon. I'm a farmer here in Indiana in the United States. Here's where my story begins. Two men drove in here in July of 2004 and they, they led me to believe that they were doing a survey for a magazine. They wanted to know what kind of crops I planted, they wanted to know uh, what kind of herbicides I used, the seed I, I bought and purchased and used, uh, and also they wanted to know whom I had my food grade contracts with. They wanted phone numbers and names and addresses, and I would not give that information to them. I sent them on their way, and as I turned around to walk, walk through the door here back into my home, one of them said that I think he's guilty. And I thought, guilty? What am I guilty at? The last week of November in 2004, I received a FedEx letter from Monsanto's attorney in St. Louis stating that I had seven days to turn over my business uh, records production records for the farm here. Uh, at the time, I did not understand what was exactly going on. Uh, I had to contact an attorney. Uh, we went through several several months of exchanging of letters, and I sent them receipts of my herbicide purchases and my seed purchases and uh, cleaning receipts, but that wasn't enough. Now, today, I also have to test all of my seed. It has to be sent off to be make sure it's not genetically my, any, any contaminate, contaminants of Monsanto's product in it. Uh, even my food grade corn here, it has to be tested before I can actually sell it for food grade corn. Uh, there's just excessive testing that I have to keep doing. Having a Fortune 500 company come after you, you worry. And why is it that they have to step on the little guys for excessive profit? That part I do not understand, but it's happening today as we speak and it probably will not stop. I believe that Monsanto should, should bring their Terminator gene in and use it in their products. So therefore then, all of their genetically material would not be transferred into my conventional product. That would help all the organic farmers and the conventional farmers. So therefore then, Monsanto's product would be dead and our products would be alive.